Hi, St. Peter's students. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's been kind of crazy at our house trying to get used to all of this. So I really want, um, for those of you who signed up to do art in the upper school, for this to be kind of fun and a little bit of a departure from what we were doing, although we're gonna kind of stay in a similar vein. So if you remember, before we left school, we were working on architecture and perspective, one point perspective, two point perspective, aerial perspective. And then we were working on painting our homes or a place that was meaningful. And I still have all of those projects in a folder at school, which I'm gonna try to get back to you at some point so we can finish those. But for now, um, I kind of wanted us to work on drawing people and landscapes and buildings because I was hoping to put that all together towards the end of the year in a larger scale projects. We also were planning to do an Easter icon and I'm still gonna try to figure out a way to get that in as well this way, I mean, via internet. Anyway, but for today, I have a really fun project. So this is another book that I have, the Tolkien Journal. The first half of my book is written in, but I'm going to show you some of the pictures towards the back. If you see something in here you'd like to draw, I can send a picture to you. But I thought that we could draw one of the hobbits that are in here. If I can find that. So let me show you, show you what he looks like up close. And I'm going to send you a picture of this. So I'll do a general sketch of this one. All you're going to need for these drawings are two pencils, sharpened, an eraser, and possibly a ruler if you need to do some outlining. Let's... Okay, the next project that I'm going to sketch out for you is this Hobbit. So let's just look really quickly at where I'm going to place him. So here's the middle of the page. He's obviously almost all the way to the middle here. He's in the basically the bottom left quadrant, and then this tree goes right up the center. He's got a little dragon here, some toadstools. He's holding some kind of gardening tool. I'm just looking to see some details. I see, I see that his face is round. This is gonna be a triangle, of course. His body is round or a rectangle, and this, of course, more cubes, cylinders. We're going to just be looking for some shapes to make this easier. All right, well, I'm gonna start with his head and placing his body, then I'll sketch that tree behind him. Okay, so my paper is this way because I'm gonna do them a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to see where the center is. This is kind of, I'm gonna put him right in this area then. I'm gonna start with an oval. And I want you to draw this really, really lightly because you're gonna to need to be doing a lot of erasing and changing things. You need to be able to move your lines. The only way that you can do that is if you haven't drawn darkly to start with. All right, and let's just go ahead and get this little ovals around his face too. And then triangle over his head. So what I noticed is that this curves and then it comes up and around. He has an elf ear. I guess it's a hobbit ear. Can't see the other ear really. Let's get his body shape. So you notice that I'm not really doing a lot of details. I know that this hand is going to be here, it's an oval, 
this hand is going to be here and his thumb is up. So I'm just going to put those as placeholders. And then there's a rectangle right here. Another rectangle. This is coming up here, coming down to there. And then this coat kind of comes out this way and out this way, his gardening tool. Let's go ahead and put that cylinder in to hold a place. I'll come back and I think that I didn't leave enough room actually. It looks like he grew, but let's see if I can get him to fit. I'm drawing, so I'm drawing this curve across and up this other leg kind of comes around and there. Now his foot is gonna be right here. So if you notice, if you look at his leg, I'm just gonna do this the way that I normally would. I would, I see that he's got, so after I do this circle here for the, for his ankle and the top of his foot and this one for the closer area. Now I can go back and I can just go around that. And then his big toe is there. There, and that's much closer to the way his foot looks. All right, and let's do the other one. So it's going to come down. He's got a ball here. There's another one there and here. So you can kind of make this wedge shape. And then the top of his hair is going to be hairy anyway. So after you erase the little supporting structures inside. It just gives you a lot better outline. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do his hands and then we'll do his head last. So his hand, same thing, kind of comes over here. Just try to think of his fingers as being, I think only has three fingers on this picture. I guess the other ones are curled back. So anyway, we're just gonna, don't worry too much about all those details. I think his thumb's a little too long. I'm gonna make it a little shorter. Let's see here. I'm gonna come down. It's kind of triangle shaped out this way and this way. And then his thumb is behind um, this this piece of wood that's sticking up. And then the rest of his fingers are gonna come, kinda come down again back this way. So there's this angle. And then this one kind of goes like that and there. Okay, and we're not gonna worry about too many details on his hand, just kind of get that general shape in there. Okay. Let's see, his gardening instrument kind of comes down here, has an oval. I'm running out of room on my paper. I hope that you planned better for yours. And you know, it's okay if I, you know, if I really, really wanted to hang this on my wall, I'd probably redraw it, but since it's just for fun and a sketch, I'm just gonna kind of go with it and let that happen. Okay. Alrighty then, um, we, you can spend more time detailing, you know, his coat and such. If you just look for those wavy lines, he has a bag. That you could draw. I think I have this a little too low. Yeah, 
I'm talking about that to look really nice and round, partly from the shading that he did. You can work on that as well. Just looking for where the darks and the lights are and kind of imitating those areas, you know, will make a big difference. I think that this belt needs to be moved over. So you see, since my lines are so light, I could just do that really easily. All right, so he has his kind of weird button things there. All right, let's work on his face a little bit. So I think that he has a big forehead. I'm gonna get that there. His cheek comes out this way. His chin, if you notice, is kind of squarish. I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself that little circle and I'll erase it later. His nose is kind of lumpy shaped. So we're just gonna draw him a little circle there. His face has these clown-like, I think I need to give him just a little bit more space over here for his head. You see how when you draw lightly, you're able to move stuff pretty easily. All right, so eyes, eyes are um, almond shape, but I'm just gonna draw these two little areas where I want his pupils to be. And then I'm gonna go back and make the little, um, curves over the top and then I'll come back here and make the the lower shape too. <clears throat> he looks a little bit like a clown at the moment. I'm gonna look really closely at his face. So there's a curve here, a curve here, a curve here. So curve here, curve here, curve here. And then this kind of funny bumpy line there. I can get rid of that circle now. His eyebrows are actually like little tiny wispy lines there. He has his eyes darkened. His mouth is right underneath there, right under his nose. I might have actually drawn his nose too high. I think that it kind of comes down a little bit lower. And then he has this cheek line over here and over there. He has all this wispy little hair here. I'm going to lighten up this line on his mouth because It's a little thinner. My pencil's not as quite as sharp for doing really fine lines anymore as it should be. And he has some little crow's feet and some wrinkles coming off here. And then we can make his little hat triangle coming up. All right, so after you get this part drawn, and I'm kind of happy with that. It's not perfect, but some wrinkles down coming down here. But anyway, it's not perfect, but I think that that's fine. And anyway, so now we're going to sketch this tree behind him. Remember that trees get thinner towards the top. So whenever you're going up, you're always gonna get thicker as you come down, be thinner as you go up. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna come down to here. So that's all I'm gonna do for today. Just keep looking um, at your picture. Add, all these little details add a lot of um, fun to the picture. So I would love to see what you do. Please send me an email with your picture or post it on the Facebook page if you would, please. I really miss you guys. I hope that you're having a good time. 
Well, have a good rest of the day. Have a nice weekend. I hope that you guys are staying well and that you're getting outside a little bit. Take care. Bye-bye.